So you want to smell good, but you don't want to pay a fortune for your fragrances. It's okay. I feel you. Well, come on. Let me show you my Estira collection. Okay, people, before I start digging into these fragrances, I want to talk to the newcomers on this channel. If you haven't heard about Estiara or Armaf or Sterling Perfumes, they're a big company that clones popular designer and niche fragrances, and they do a pretty awesome job. Now, for you who know about Armaf and don't know about Estiara, well, Armaf is a bit less obvious when cloning fragrances. Estiara is pretty obvious what they're trying to clone here. So, let's start. First off... So, let's start. I'm going to begin with the fragrances on my right and finish with the ones on my left, which are the ladies' fragrances. And these are my girlfriend's fragrances. I'm not wearing women perfume. Okay, let's start. Istiara Power On. And if you haven't figured it, figured it out by now, this one is a clone of Givenchy Play. I hate the cap. But check this out. Magic. So now, it's very similar. The only difference is that Givenchy Play is a bit more fresher. But they have the same performance. It is a discreet perfume, but that's that doesn't mean that it performs bad. Discreet means that you can wear it in, uh, indoors and you won't offend people around you. Okay, moving on to the next fragrance. And this is a gorgeous fragrance and I haven't found another clone to, I hope I pronounce it correctly, Louis Solo. That fragrance is pretty expensive. This one is very similar, but a bit more spicier. Moving on to the next one. This is Tierra X Fashion. It is a clone of Hugo Boss XY. Now I haven't smelled the original, but I can't stand this one, at least in the beginning, because it smells a lot like fresh cut herbs but they've also exaggerated with the basil it smells like the mixture of herbs that you're going to put in a soup very good fragrance or not I'm kidding I don't like it next one X Fashion by Night isn't it obvious what this supposed to clone? It's a clone of Hugo Boss Bottled Night. And I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna say it, wait. It's bang on. Nothing more to say about it. It's bang on. Hugo Boss Bottled Night, right here. This one, I've already reviewed it. Estiara A Sportsman Classic. This is a clone of Chanel Allure and it's very close to it. The only difference, as I've said in my review, Allure is fresher and this one lasts longer because just because it's not that fresh. Very, very similar. Now, these two I've already reviewed also. You have a link in the description for all three of them. You have three links in the description for all three of them. Sorry, my uh, tongue is a bit uh, naughty today. So, moving to the gems of the Estiara line. These two are the best, by far the best, of all of the Estiara fragrances. So this one, Estiara Step Black, is a clone, a very similar clone to Green Irish Tweed by Creed at only 5% of its price. This one is 99 similar to Silver Mountain Water. Same performance, same smell. Same thing, 5% of the price. 
and crazy. Next one, Cheval Blue. This one is, come on, it's very obvious. This one is Polo Blue, very similar. Doesn't perform as well, it performs the worst out of all of them, but it's also the case with Polo Blue. If you apply the right amount and if, if you apply on the right places on your skin, you will have some performance. I don't go for the wrists anymore because this is very outdated and it doesn't perform as well as if you spray here. But I will make another video and talk about where to spray. There are new places where you have to spray now. Well, moving on to the next fragrance, we have reached the women's or ladies' fragrances. And this one, it's delicious. And it's called Delicious Doll. I'm not sure what's this similar to but I did a bit of research and judging by the looks of the bottle and the notes I think it's a clone of Viva La Juicy by Juicy Couture or uh, there was another one by Victoria's Secret I'm gonna put it right here and oh yeah how it smells this smells fruity and floral. It's a fruity floral fragrance. Moving on to the next ladies fragrance by Estiara. And there is a star for women. Yes, it's a clone of Thierry Mugler Angel for women. And you have a nice bottle design with some diamond looking things over here and I'm gonna say it again wait it's bang on nothing else to say about it bang on same performance next fragrance is Tiara Nectar this one is a mm, creamy fruity fragrance and this is a copy of Nina Ricci by Nina Ricci it's very similar, but in the dry down, they go separate ways. This one stays creamy and fruity, while the original one has some spiciness to it. At least that's what I'm getting from it. But otherwise, this is a very, very good fragrance. I think it's even better than the original. Next one, and the most obvious bottle of the, all of them, of all of them. It's Stiara Mystic Waters. Even the name is very obvious. And yes, it's a clone of Davidoff Cool Water for women. But please take a look at the bottle. Isn't this bottle gorgeous? Come on, it's better than the original. And you know what else is better than the original? The smell. I've even asked a couple of friends if they even consider that this fragrance smells better than the original and they totally agreed with me. This is a aquatic fruity fragrance while the original is a aquatic floral. floral. What's wrong with me today? They are similar in the beginning but in the dry down they go aquatic floral, aquatic fruity. So there you have it. The price for each one of them ranges from $5 to $30 or euros. So you do the math. You want to pay less for these fragrances or more for the original version of them. So that was it guys. This was the Estiara fragrances video. I think this is a part one. I am planning to buy more of them, there are more and they are so good that I am going to buy all of them. So stay tuned, more Estiara, fragrances incoming, more Armaf, and I also got some niches, some designer, 
all of the fragrances for you guys. Stay tuned and bye bye.